video will cover scientific notation. In chemistry, we tend to have numbers that are either really, really, really large or really, really, really small. And instead of writing numbers with lots of zeros, we use scientific notation. If I would like to convert to scientific notation from normal or expanded notation here, then if the number is greater than one, as in this number here, 23,400,000 joules, then we can see that the scientific notation is 2.34 times 10 to the 7. Well, how do we figure this out? First, we move the decimal place to the left. So if we've got 2, 3, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. We move the decimal place to the left because it starts here. And we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 2.34 times 10 to the positive 7 because the number is greater than 1. So you count the number of places, and that is the power of 10. And this is going to be a positive number because the number is greater than 1. If the number is less than 1 but greater than 0, right, so we have a really teeny tiny number, such as 0 0.0000000234 grams, the scientific notation is 2.34 times 10 to the minus 7. So how do we do this? You do the exact same thing. We put the zeros, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, 3, 4. And you always start where the decimal place is, and you move it to a point where we have a coefficient that's between 1 and 10. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we get 2.34. And because this number is less than 1, the power of 10 is always going to be negative. All right? So for scientific notation, we also, we always have a coefficient and a power of 10. So our coefficient is this number right here. And our power of 10 is that there. OK? Now, if we want to convert from scientific notation to expanded notation, well, we simply move the decimal place over the number of spaces indicated by the power of 10. If the power of 10 is positive, we move our decimal place to the right. If our power of 10 is negative and we have a number that's less than 1, then we're going to move our decimal place to the left, the same number of spaces as indicated by our power of 10. Now let's do some practice. OK, the first problem we have is 21.9. And we would like to convert this into uh, an extended number. Well, we've got 21.9. Now, I'm sorry, we are converting this into a scientific notation. So remember, scientific notation, we have that coefficient that is between 1 and 10. Right? So this number is 21.9. In order for us to get a coefficient between 1 and 10, which direction would you have to move the decimal place? Correct, to the left. And in order to get the coefficient to be between 1 and 10, we move the decimal place to the left one space. Oh, that didn't change the color. One space. So we end up with 2.19 times 10 to the what? How many spaces did we move to the left? We only moved one space to the left, and that's going to be a positive 1. Well, how do I know that it's a positive 1? Because my original number was greater than 1. So my coefficient is going to be positive 1. 
All right, let's take a look at this number, the next number, 0 0.00332. Well, this number is less than 1. And in order to get us a coefficient that is between 1 and 10, you have to move the decimal in which direction? The right direction. And we'd also have to move that decimal place so that we get our coefficient between 1 and 10. So let's do that. 1, 2, 3. We move our decimal place three spaces. So we get 3.32 times 10 to the what? Well, we know that we move three spaces, but our number is less than 1, remember? So our coefficient must be I mean, not our coefficient, but our exponent must be less than 1. So it's a negative exponent. Okay? All right. Let us now convert these last two numbers from scientific notation to expanded notation. All right. Well, expanded notation is we're just getting rid of this power of 10. Right? And... That exponent tells you the number of spaces to move your decimal place. Well, this is a power of 10 is positive. So because it's positive, our number must get larger. So here's something to remember. If our coefficient goes up, then our exponent goes down. All right? So let's see what I mean here. I'm going to uh, move my decimal place one, two, three spaces, right? So I get three, eight, two, five. Notice that my coefficient went up by three spaces and my exponent went down to zero. 10 to the zero is one. All right, so let's do the next problem. And this makes sense because we're multiplying by 1,000. Okay. So let's look at the next one. Now we've got a negative exponent. We've got a negative exponent. And so that means that this number is what? Is it greater than 1 or less than 1? This number is less than 1. So in order to make this number less than 1 in expanded notation, we have to move our decimal in which direction? in the left direction. And we move it how many spaces? Six spaces. So let's go. One, two, three, two, three, four, five, six. My, my little U's don't want to work. And we fill that in with zeros. So what do I get? Zero point. I've got one, two, one, Our last number is 4.4 .4 times 10 to the minus 6. 10 to the minus 6 tells us that our number is less than 1. So we have to move our decimal place in a way to make our number less than 1. What direction is that going to be? To the left. How many spaces do we move to the left? We move 6 because that's our exponent. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And our decimal will go there. So let's put our answer here, zero point. And then we count the spaces that we went. Um, oh, so that's one, zero, two, three, four, five zeros that we need to add. So one, two, three, four, five zeros, and then four, four, four. All right. That makes sense. Our number, our number was a lot less than one. And let's count to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, so we have the correct answer.